When we see celebrities on the red carpet, it's hard to believe that some of them have poor personal hygiene with a bad smell. However, behind the scenes, many of these stars are not as flawless as they appear. In fact, some of them have quite a stench. And for a number of them, their co-stars have even ended up complaining about their odor. These celebs smell so bad that working with them was a punishment for co-stars. And here are 17 Hollywood personalities who don't mind the stink and are, in a way, normalizing body odors. Clark Gable, known as the King of Hollywood, Clark Gable left an indelible mark on the film industry, starring in over 60 films during his illustrious career that spanned several decades. His portrayal of Rhett Butler in the 1939 classic Gone with the Wind, alongside Vivian Lee, is especially iconic. Gable's charm and talent earned him the Academy Award for Best Actor in the 1934 romantic comedy It Happened One Night, directed by Frank Capra and co-starring Claudette Colbert. Despite the on-screen chemistry between Gable and Lee's Scarlett O'Hara, their off-screen dynamics were not as romantic. Vivian Lee, while appreciating the professional collaboration, had a particular aversion to intimate scenes with Gable. The reason behind this discomfort was Gable's false teeth. Lee bluntly described the scent emanating from his dentures as something awful, making kissing scenes an unpleasant experience for her. It's important to note that the blame for bad breath cannot be solely attributed to dentures, as proper hygiene is crucial for maintaining oral health. Individuals who wear dentures are well aware of the importance of keeping them clean. However, considering the era in which Gable and Lee worked, cleaning products for dentures, such as Polident, might not have been as advanced or widely available. Gwyneth Paltrow the Met Gala, a glamorous event filled with celebrities and high fashion, took an unexpected turn for Gwyneth Paltrow in 2013. The Oscar-winning actress, known for her candidness, made headlines when she declared her decision to never attend the Met Gala again, citing the overwhelming heat and sweat at the event. Little did attendees know that the discomfort wasn't confined to temperature alone. An insider revealed to the National Enquirer that Gwyneth's impeccable appearance might have come at a cost. Her fragrance seemed to be more pronounced than expected under the hot lights. According to the source, the scent was notably pungent, leading some individuals to discreetly wave their hands in front of their noses after passing by the actress. A friend of Gwyneth came to her defense, explaining that her choice of deodorant might be the culprit behind the unexpected situation. The actress, known for her commitment to a healthy lifestyle, had reportedly heard concerns about the potential carcinogenic effects of aluminum, a common ingredient in deodorants. In an attempt to explore alternatives, Gwyneth had been testing different deodorants, acknowledging that the process might involve a few misses. However, she allegedly expressed a preference for dealing with temporary odor rather than compromising her health. Jennifer Aniston Jennifer Aniston, a beloved star of Tinseltown, might have an endearing flaw that adds a touch of relatability to her glamorous image. The actress is rumored to have a distinctive case of coffee breath, a trait that hasn't gone unnoticed by some of her fellow co-stars. During the filming of movies like The Switch and The Change-Up, Jason Bateman, who shared the screen with Aniston, reportedly had to take an unexpected pause during a steamy love scene. The reason? He found it challenging to continue the intimate scene due to the overpowering smell of Aniston's breath, allegedly tainted by her love for coffee. The aromatic episode didn't end there. Aniston, while guest-starring on 30 Rock and engaging in kissing scenes with Alec Baldwin, found herself facing similar feedback. Baldwin, known for his candidness, didn't mince words about the situation, describing the experience as painful. He even expressed disbelief at how other men managed to engage in on-screen kisses with her, given the challenging olfactory encounter. 
While coffee might be a beloved beverage, the importance of a tic-tac is underscored by these instances, adding a touch of real-life quirkiness to the glamorous world of film sets. Julia Roberts The enchanting Julia Roberts, often regarded as America's sweetheart, has a beauty routine that takes a detour from conventional norms. In a candid revelation to Oprah Winfrey in 2008, Roberts admitted, I don't actually use deodorant. It's just never been my thing. However, Roberts's unconventional approach to personal hygiene doesn't stop there. According to a former security guard who worked with the renowned actress, Julia embraces a bohemian lifestyle. This lifestyle choice extends to her bathing habits, as the guard revealed, Julia is a total hippie. She'll go days without showering. In a nod to eco-consciousness, Roberts, known for her commitment to environmental causes, is said to be motivated by a desire to save water, truly embodying a green lifestyle. Roberts reportedly finds solace in the natural scent of her oils, further embracing her hippie persona. The former security guard provided insights into Roberts' approach, stating she likes the smell of her natural oils. Moreover, citing concerns about the dryness of her hair, she is said to refrain from frequent washing. While this might raise eyebrows, Roberts believes she has a point, considering the dry nature of her hair. However, the guard humorously notes that this choice occasionally results in a musty aroma, Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe, known for his intense performances on screen, has found himself at the center of a different kind of spotlight. His alleged body odor, which some claim matches the intensity of his famed temper. The indomitable Joan Rivers once quipped, he has a body odor problem. I prefer to sit down wind of him at showbiz bashes. Insiders spilled the beans to the National Enquirer, revealing that during the filming of Cinderella Man, co-star Rene Zellweger, after repeated appeals for improved hygiene, insisted on a body double for any intimate scenes involving Crow. In defense of Crow, one of his buddies stepped up to offer a different perspective. The friend explained, Russell is just an ordinary bloke, and he certainly doesn't have a hygiene problem. Providing context, the pal humorously acknowledged, If you stand really close to him, you may catch the occasional whiff of alcohol and curry after a night on the town. Sophia Loren The tumultuous relationship between Marlon Brando and Sophia Loren unfolded against the backdrop of a Hollywood feud, ignited by an unusual source. Brando's complaint that Italian food had an adverse effect on Lauren's breath, which he likened to smelling worse than a dinosaur's. The cinematic drama reached a boiling point during the filming of their on-screen kiss for the 1967 film A Countess from Hong Kong. In a dramatic turn, Lauren, evidently incensed by Brando's comments, pulled away from him, revealing to the crew that Brando had whispered to her about long hairs growing out of her nostrils. This incident marked the beginning of a simmering animosity between the two iconic stars. The depth of the feud came to light through revelations in two books published a decade after Brando's demise in 2004 at the age of 80. In Warren G. Harris's book, Sophia Loren, A Biography, the narrative unfolds exposing Brando's initial offense when he first met Lauren. Stepping into her Paramount lot dressing room, he scrutinized her paintings and, unapologetically, declared her emotionally disturbed, suggesting the need for psychological intervention. The infamous first on-screen kiss, described as a dumpster fire, took place during the filming of the feature A Countess from Hong Kong. Charlie Chaplin, the director, managed to console Lauren after the tumultuous incident, coaxing her to agree to more takes. However, subsequent scenes only intensified the discord. On the third take, Brando reportedly bit Lauren's lip so hard that it bled, setting the tone for every love scene that followed, characterized by Brando and Lauren clutching each other as if embracing a werewolf, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp? renowned for perfecting the traveling hobo look, seamlessly incorporates this aesthetic into his iconic portrayal of Captain Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean film franchise.
However, Depp's commitment to authenticity extends beyond the screen, impacting his personal hygiene choices, especially while immersed in the character. While embodying Captain Jack Sparrow, Depp adopts the character's unkempt appearance, refraining from regular showers and infrequent toothbrushing. This commitment to authenticity, while applauded for its dedication to character portrayal, had repercussions during the filming of The Tourist. Angelina Jolie, sharing the screen with Depp, reportedly encountered the pungent side of method acting when she found his breath to be so rancid that she felt compelled to intervene. Jolie suggested a remedy for the olfactory challenge, urging Depp to freshen up with a dose of Listerine before extending to him a handful of mints. Robert Pattinson At the zenith of his Twilight Saga fame, actor Robert Pattinson, despite his heartthrob status, carried an unconventional approach to personal hygiene that garnered attention. While his on-screen persona sparkled, off-screen reports suggested a less fragrant reality. In an interview with Extra, Pattinson addressed swirling rumors that he had abstained from shampooing for an extended six-week period. Nonchalantly, he responded, Probably. I don't know. I don't really see the point in washing your hair. If you don't care if your hair's clean or not, then why would you wash it? This laid-back attitude extended beyond his hair to other facets of his daily life, as evidenced by his perspective on apartment cleanliness. It's like, I don't clean my apartment because I don't care. I have my apartment for sleeping in and I have my hair for just, you know, hanging out on my head. I don't care if it's clean or not. While some individuals can effortlessly carry a more relaxed stance on personal hygiene, Insiders close to the actor revealed a different side. According to sources cited by MTV News, Pattinson's unconventional approach to cleanliness wasn't as well-received on the Twilight film sets. An anonymous crew member candidly remarked, He stinks. I mean, it's awful. He never showers, and it drives people on the set crazy. Kristen Stewart Kristen Stewart, often associated with her non-conformist attitude, reportedly shares a penchant for eschewing conventional hygiene practices, a trait she seemingly shares with her ex-partner, Robert Pattinson. Their alleged aversion to regular bathing has been a subject of tabloid fascination. According to sources cited by the National Enquirer, Stewart's grungy habits became a source of concern for Pattinson. The insider claimed, Rob's a laid-back guy, but he finds Kristen's grungy habits a turn-off. She doesn't wash her hair often, only brushes her teeth once a day and rarely wears perfume. He loved it when she made an effort for the Twilight promotion, but now she's back to her old lazy self, and he's not impressed. However, Stuart, known for her outspoken and candid nature, presented a different facet of her perspective in an interview with Stylist magazine. Contrary to the tabloid's portrayal, she revealed a level of comfort with natural scents. She shared Pattinson's unconventional preference, stating, He, Pattinson, loves to lick under my armpits. I don't get this obsession with washing the smell off. In a moment of self-awareness, the actress acknowledged her occasional propensity for developing nervous odors. When I'm nervous, I'm so mindless. I twiddle my thumbs and my hands sweat, and I smell bad, she candidly admitted to the magazine. Brad Pitt Brad Pitt, often hailed as the sexiest man alive on multiple occasions, has become infamous, not just for his acting prowess, but also for his unconventional approach to personal hygiene. In contrast to the conventional choices most people make, such as buying a stick of Old Spice, or investing in a nice bottle of cologne, Pitt opts for a more au naturel method. His self-made concoction includes lemons, water, and apple cider vinegar, which he uses as an alternative to commercial products. Despite his recognition as a Hollywood heartthrob, Pitt demonstrates a certain level of wariness towards modern chemicals. Citing concerns about the toxins in soap, particularly those in antibacterial varieties, he contends that using such items, along with deodorant, is not only harmful to the environment but also accelerates the aging process. This perspective aligns with his broader ethos of being mindful about the substances applied to his body.
While it's reasonable to exercise caution regarding personal care products, Pitt's unconventional methods have garnered attention and not always in a positive light. His advocacy for alternative hygiene practices, including what's colloquially known as a whore bath, a shower with wet wipes, has raised eyebrows. His ex-wife, Angelina Jolie, reportedly was not a fan of Pitt's natural methods. Tabloids even carried reports that their children amusingly started calling him Stinky Daddy. Allegedly, the nickname resonated so much with them that Maddox and Zahara Pitt collaborated to change their father's Facebook username to reflect this humorous moniker. Pax and Shiloh, not shy about expressing their opinions, took matters into their own hands, quite literally. They reportedly surrounded their dad, pelting him with bricks of Irish spring while spritzing him with Chanel No. 5. Vivian and Knox contributed to the banter through a text-taunting campaign, bombarding him with emojis of sheep and dogs, humorously alluding to what Jolie labeled as Pitt's distinct sheepdog odor, Britney Spears. In a surprising revelation, Britney Spears' former bodyguard, Fernando Flores, painted a less glamorous picture of the pop icon in a 2011 lawsuit. According to documents obtained by the Mirror, Flores claimed that behind closed doors, Spears exhibited what he described as obnoxious personal habits. These habits reportedly included chain-smoking cigarettes, resulting in a perpetual stench of stale tobacco that clung to her. Flores went on to detail Spears' unapologetic and self-unconscious behavior, alleging instances of her breaking wind or picking her nose without reservation. The bodyguard's portrayal suggested a departure from the carefully curated public image that stars often project. He further asserted that Spears had a lax approach to personal hygiene, purportedly going for days without bathing, eschewing deodorant, neglecting toothbrushing, and not bothering with hair care. Additionally, he claimed she often walked without shoes or socks. While these claims caused a stir, it's essential to note that Spears' camp vehemently denied the allegations. However, certain public instances, such as the singer being spotted strolling barefoot in a gas station bathroom, added a layer of intrigue to the controversy. Miley Cyrus Actress-singer Miley Cyrus, known for her bold and often controversial choices, has managed to raise eyebrows even in the realm of personal hygiene, which, amid her strategic hot mess persona, emerges as one of the less shocking aspects. In March 2016, reports surfaced that Cyrus had donned someone else's retainer, a decision that not only sparked concerns, but also exposed her to a potential cocktail of germs, including Staphylococcus and Candida, elements notorious for triggering conditions like yeast infections. Medical experts weighed in on Cyrus's reported behavior, speculating that her coated tongue, another element of the hygiene discussion, might be indicative of neglect in oral care. This revelation added a layer to the ongoing discourse about the star's lifestyle choices, inviting scrutiny into her health practices. Beyond the realm of hygiene, Cyrus has never shied away from pushing boundaries, as evidenced by her iconic wrecking ball video. Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz, much like Brad Pitt in her aversion to deodorants, proudly boasts of having refrained from using deodorant for over two decades. The something about Mary actress subscribes to the belief that antiperspirants not only clog porous, but also trap bodily scents, hindering the natural dispersion of odor from the body. In addition to her unconventional stance on personal hygiene, Diaz has been associated with a rather unique approach to managing her wardrobe, further contributing to her reputation among celebrities infamous for their smell. Reports suggest that she tends to struggle with organizing her clothes and has been spotted wearing the same outfit for multiple consecutive days before eventually discarding it. This unconventional practice, however, clashes with the environmental consciousness she advocates, given the environmental impact of such conspicuous wastefulness. Matthew McConaughey 
Matthew McConaughey, known for his free-spirited persona and unconventional choices, extends his distinctive approach to personal hygiene. Renowned for his arrest for nude bongo playing, McConaughey aligns himself with the Anti-Deodorant League, rejecting conventional norms. His distinctive scent, often described as earthy, evokes comparisons to the aftermath of a Grateful Dead tribute band concert. Fellow actress Kate Hudson, who has collaborated with McConaughey on multiple occasions, notes his apparent insensitivity to his own olfactory signature. Despite McConaughey's belief that the women in his life appreciate his characteristic scent, Hudson has persistently encouraged him to consider using antiperspirant. Rather than adopting mainstream deodorants, McConaughey takes a unique approach by carrying a rock of salt wherever he goes, rejecting what he perceives as toxic poison. Yvette Nicole Brown, McConaughey's co-star in Tropic Thunder, has publicly acknowledged his distinctive body odor, going beyond mere tolerance to finding it outright enticing. Brown's playful description of his scent as delicious suggests a subjective appreciation for McConaughey's natural aroma, perhaps few led by a personal affinity for his pheromones. Zac Efron. Zac Efron, the heartthrob known for his fresh-faced appearance, comes under scrutiny for his reported aversion to regular showering. Despite his active lifestyle, which includes frequent workouts and basketball sessions, Sources reveal that Efron isn't particularly fond of this basic hygiene routine. According to insider reports from Star Magazine, Efron's hygiene habits have raised eyebrows, painting a somewhat unconventional picture of the Baywatch star. The source suggests that after intense physical activities, Efron occasionally goes days without showering. In a surprising twist, when Efron allegedly becomes lax about traditional cleansing methods, he reportedly resorts to an alternative, using baby wipes for personal cleanliness. Princess Diana Before delving into this sensitive topic, a word of caution. The following discussion may touch upon issues that some individuals might find distressing, particularly those related to eating disorders. If the mention of eating disorders is potentially distressing for you, feel free to skip ahead. Now, addressing a poignant aspect without any intention to shame or judge individuals copping with diseases or disorders, there's a unique situation involving the Princess of Wales, Diana, as recounted by her ex-boyfriend, James Hewitt. It's a circumstance that reflects the challenges she faced throughout her life, particularly her struggle with the eating disorder bulimia. For James Hewitt, unfortunately, this struggle manifested in a way that impacted his personal experience. He attests that Princess Diana had bad breath, a condition likely linked to her ongoing battle with bulimia. It's crucial to approach this information with empathy, recognizing the complexity of mental health issues. In Hewitt's narrative, the situation becomes awkward for him due to Diana's breath having a sour odor resembling vomit. This brings to light the profound effects that eating disorders can have on an individual's physical well-being. Beyond the matter of breath, Hewitt shares another facet of Diana's life, her reportedly high libido. According to him, she was consistently eager for intimacy, to the point where she purportedly carried a vibrator with her during travels. Leonardo DiCaprio Leonardo DiCaprio renowned for his environmental activism, has taken his commitment to going green to unconventional lengths that might raise a few eyebrows. According to reports, the Oscar-winning actor is so deeply immersed in his passion for environmental conservation that he has altered some of his personal habits, even if they come across as a tad unconventional. Sources suggest that DiCaprio, in a bid to minimize water wastage, has significantly reduced the frequency of his showers, reportedly limiting them to just a couple of days per week. This eco-friendly approach, while aligned with his environmental ethos, has sparked some humorous commentary about its impact on his personal life. Notably, DiCaprio has allegedly taken a stance against deodorants, considering them unnatural and opting to embrace his natural scent. 
This particular choice, combined with his reduced showering routine, has led to some speculation about the olfactory ambiance of his living space. Sources have pointed out instances where he missed trash and recycling pickup days, contributing to the alleged distinct odor within his home. And that concludes our exploration of celebrities with a noticeable scent. Do you have any other stars in mind who are rumored to lean towards the smellier side? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section. Before you go, make sure to show some love by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you stay in the loop with all our newest and upcoming content. As always, thank you for tuning in and see you next time.